Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, hello, my name is Mackenzie. Make sure to hit the subscribe button. Today I am cranking out another Shein haul, your guys' favorite videos, and some of my favorite to film. I'm so pumped. I've got so many awesome winter pieces to share with you guys today. A lot of loungewear because you guys have been requesting that. I've got some sweaters, some fun pants, some shoes, all the goods. I hope you guys are excited because I know I am. I will have links to everything down below as well as sizing info, shipping, and my coupon code q 4 McKenzie. 15 so that you guys can save 15% off your next purchase Psst. if you guys have followed me from my infamous she and bikini hauls a new one is coming my first one of 2021 will be up within the next two weeks so stick around for that that's coming too without further ado let's hop right on it. I'm gonna start off with shoes because I got quite a few good pairs this month and I'm gonna start off with these boots right here they are a like nudish color and they've got that black Chelsea style they're really really tall which I love usually like boots come down like I would say like they're about two inches shorter but these are really tall I love them they've got that mid shaft feel and they are super super chunky along the soles a lot of traction these honestly would make great like slush boots you know if you, it's snowy where you live and you just kind of need something to throw on that you don't care about getting a little dirty love these very fun and I am wearing a size 40 in these and I'm a size 8 next up I grabbed these black Chelsea boots and they are very similar to the last pair in style they've got that little bit of elastic right Right there that thumb along the back and then they've got that really thick chunky sole I love these they are actually dupes for a pair of shoes that Zara has been selling that are everywhere again I got them in a 40 I'm a size 8 and I would say if you're in between sizes to go up in these just because they are so chunky that they run just a little short in length and then last but not least I got these brown shoes you are going to see so much brown in this haul over the summer I swore I would never be seen dead in that color ever again and then it became like the color of winter 20 2021 and now I am hopping on the bandwagon so of course I grabbed a pair of booties I love 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 these they are so comfortable just because they're about a one and a half two inch heel so they're super easy to walk in and they've come up just enough kind of that in between of a sock booty and a regular boot and they've got more of a square toe along the front which is really flattering and in style right now love these so cute next up I grabbed this brown puffer coat and I seriously could not love this more I am a sucker for puffers I wear them all all the time here at school I go to Kent State University in Ohio and so it's pretty chilly here you need a jacket when you leave but I love puffers for when I'm just running quick errands picking up a friend dropping someone off this one is a faux leather and it has just the right amount of puff to it it's shorter but it's not super cropped either and it has like a lot of fluff in the neck which I think is the cutest I was so impressed with the quality of this one and it's seriously worth every penny I cannot wait to style this on the blog and just on everyday wear this flannel that I have on right now is from from Shein and I wear it all the time there are very few things in my closet that I reach for time and time again but this flannel is one of them I seriously cannot stop wearing this as soon as it comes out of the wash I put it back on I've been wearing it as pajamas over top of hoodies buttoned up like this it's just such a great layering piece and if you guys have been watching my vlogs you know I'm addicted to it I saw that they came out with the exact same flannel just in a different pattern and so I had to pick it up this is a size small as well just the right amount of oversized you can see See that this pattern is a little bit smaller and it's brown rather than black and white love it and this one's just so soft it's not a shacket it is a flannel like it's definitely not um shackety but it's oh my god so soft you seriously will not regret it i'll leave this one linked down there as well however speaking of shackets i did go ahead and pick up another one i've got a gazillion at this point i can't stop grabbing them they're just awesome layering pieces you can wear them over top of a long sleeve over a hoodie crew neck you name it or you can wear them buttoned up and they're just an awesome layering piece altogether. I grabbed this one and it's white and black and it's definitely like a larger print, larger scale than the one I have on right now. And it's much thicker, definitely more of that shacket in between of a shirt and jacket. And uh, I just love it. So, so, so soft. And I am wearing this one in a size small as well. And it's definitely very oversized. I saw this leather top coat thing and it reminded me a lot of the shacket trend so I decided to pick it up I'm not 100% sure how I feel about it this is a size extra small and it's very oversized it runs rather long and it's basically it like gives off leather jacket vibes it's like that pleather and then on the inside it looks like this 
definitely thicker than a shirt but like I said it isn't a jacket so it's kind of that in between I think that this will make a great layering piece and I think that it would look really cool over like a matching sweatsuit maybe with some black sunglasses your hair tied back and some gold hoops I don't know I've been having a lot of fun playing around with trends like this and I'm excited to give this a go so if you guys have watched some of my previous Shein hauls, you would have seen that I picked up this pair of joggers from their basics line in white and black and then a brown and I love them. They are hands down some of my favorite joggers of any brand in my whole collection and I have a lot of joggers. They are just the right amount of tapered. They hit me at just the right spot and they're extremely comfortable. They are fleece lined. They're super warm but they're not the kind that you sweat in either. The drawstring is real, deep pockets like seriously the ultimate sweatpant so I picked them up in this like light cream color too I have a lot of shackets that have this color in it so I figured that these would pair really well with those and then I also grabbed them in this purple I usually do not reach for this color at all in fact most of my winter clothes are pretty neutral as it is but I saw this color and I was like you know what that's kind of fun as we move into the springtime I'm gonna want some more pastels so I grabbed these, love them. Again, I can't say enough good things about these. And I believe they're like $11. So with that 15% off coupon code stacked on top, these are such a steal. I also grabbed this black sweatsuit and I have this in the orange and I love it, which is why I grabbed it in black as well. Looks like this. The joggers are not as tapered in the thigh area on this specific pair of pants. These ones are definitely slimmer, but these ones kind of fit more of like a straight leg fit throughout. Still very comfortable and they've got these like square stitched pockets that are really cool drawstring waistband and this is what the sweatshirt looks like it comes with it I'm wearing a size extra small and very true to size on me I would say that it runs oversized if anything but it's got a hood we've got those drawstrings and then it has a like kangaroo style pocket love 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 these two together but you also are getting so much bang for your buck because you can obviously wear the black joggers with just about anything or you could even style this hoodie like underneath the flannel with a pair of jeans so it's like getting three outfits for the price of one never in a million years that I ever think I would like sweater vests but you know here we are never say never I have this in white and I love it so much that I grabbed it in black as well if you guys are looking for the perfect sweater vest this is definitely the one to grab like if you're gonna get one sweater vest of anything you need this one it is a super high quality knit and it's extremely soft it launders really well and it's got this deep V with like a varsity style collar and then my favorite part about it is that it's got a raw hem and it has this like you know little slit along the sides so it's great for layering if you want to wear a turtleneck underneath or even like a white collar shirt there are so many ways to style these and I have a feeling they're gonna be really popular moving into spring as well so I have it in black and white like I said and it's so good I also grabbed this houndstooth one because it reminded me of like something from that 70s show I don't know why but I get really retro vibes from this and I thought it would be a fun piece to style I've also been getting a lot of this specific print on my Pinterest feed lately so I decided you know maybe that's it's gonna be something that becomes super trendy so I'm thinking this with a pair of straight leg jeans and then those black boots I shared in the beginning is gonna be such a combo I forgot to mention that that last sweater vest actually came with a white collared shirt underneath the sleeves are a little short on it but honestly I'm not so disappointed about it because I wasn't even expecting it to come with the shirt at all I have plenty of white button-ups from Shein and I'll actually leave my favorite one down there so that you guys can shop but just know if you buy that one you get two pieces for the price of one and then I also grabbed a sweater vest dress I have so much fun styling these they look amazing with white collared shirts layered underneath and then like a cute little crossbody bag so many ways to style these and especially with tights in the winter it's just such a look I don't know I love how sophisticated it looks if you are in a business casual setting these are perfect they're really long too so I just got this nude color again this would look really good with one of those pairs of boots that I showed earlier to make it a little bit edgier I will say that the quality on this one isn't as good as that first black one I shared but this is a dress whereas the other one is just like your typical sweater length all right, I've got some tops to share with you guys. The first one is this black bodysuit, and it's a sheer leopard all throughout, except the cups of it are velvet. I think that this is such a fun piece. It's sexy, but it's subtle at the same time almost. And I don't know, I think that this will be a lot of fun to wear with just a pair of black jeans, maybe some black boots. You could wear this to dinner, going out, maybe a girl's night. I don't know, I get Valentine's Day vibes from this. So I'm excited to add this to my collection. Like I said, it is a bodysuit. It is full coverage in the 
butt, which isn't my favorite, but it does have snaps, which makes going to the bathroom so much easier. I've been on that brown kick, like I told you guys, so I just picked up this tank top. I know it's really not tank top season, but I still layer these underneath of flannels, jackets, hoodies, all that kind of stuff all the time. I think with a pair of joggers and then one of those pieces layered over top, you've got a really cute, casual, but like still put together outfit for online school and the material of this one was super soft. This top right here is definitely not everyone's style. In fact, I'm sure many of you are not going to like this, but I thought that it was so cool and I love different things. I love getting out of my comfort zone when it comes to clothes. So I picked up this pleather shoulder pad tank top. Hear me out guys, it looks a lot better on than it does when I'm just holding it up. I'll insert the try on clip here so you can see. It's got shoulder pads, which shoulder pads, although they might scare people, give such a structured, polished look with a low bun, like your hair slicked back, some hoops, and a gold chunky necklace. You could really make this look incredible. It's a piece that you could easily wear out, but you could also make this very business casual with a cardigan or blazer layered over top. Don't be afraid to play with finishes, and I think pleather is going to be huge this season. I've been on the hunt for a white long sleeve crop top for ages now. You would think such a basic piece would be easier to find, but they're all see-through. And I finally picked up this one from Shein and it's perfect. I'm wearing it with a nude bra and it works wonders. 100% cotton, so it's very, very soft, easy, breathable, and 100% cotton launders really well too. You don't have to like take special care of it. I love wearing these with joggers, but again, they look great with jeans and jackets. Just such an awesome layering piece. I know some people are intimidated by crop tops in the winter time, but Pretty much every pair of jeans I wear are very high-waisted, so it doesn't really bother me too much, but this comes in a ton of different colors. I'll leave it linked down below, like I said, and it's a great basic. Pick it up in a few. Next top I got literally looks like a body chain, and it's very confusing to hold up, but it's basically this like silver metallic bedazzled moment. So many girls at my school have this top, and I think it's just the coolest thing ever. I don't know where I will wear this or for what occasion, but I had to have it. I think it's like $10, but oh my god. I mean, look at that. It's basically entirely open in the back and there are like little hooks to get it on you, but so stinking cute. If you have a birthday, 21st, anything like that coming up, bachelorette party, grab this. You guys would be so proud of me. I only grabbed one sweater this time around. Usually like half my haul is sweaters, but I've been trying to stray away and kind of like break out of my comfort zone. But I did grab one and this one's so soft. The material of this is amazing. Quality was really high. I love chunky turtlenecks because it is colder here in Ohio. And I've been looking for sweaters that are a little bit longer to pair with my faux leather leggings, all of my Spanx. And this one is perfect for that. They look really good with tall boots as well. A ribbed material and so soft. And again, it's a version of brown. Shocker. So I used to never have luck with Shein jeans. Like they all sucked. I thought the quality was really low and they never fit me. And then I tried one pair of straight leg jeans from them and they were incredible. I got them in a couple of colors and I was like, man, these are really good. So I saw this pair and I really liked them. So I decided to pick them up. And although the quality is very good the fit of them just is not right on me i got these in a size 25 because usually i'm a size 25 and these run really large everywhere on me i definitely i would think that i'm more of like a 23 if we're going off this size chart i had a lot of gapping in the butt area but they have more of that relaxed fit that straight leg mom jean kind of style that's super trendy right now i love the wash of these they are the perfect color they really remind me of levi's and then they have this little slit along the bottom Bottom. that's very trendy right now this is gonna be very popular throughout the next few months so all great things to say about it they just didn't fit me properly if you are a little bit bigger than me like I would say if you are a size 26 27 get the 25 and they'll fit you perfectly but very cute. I'm bummed these don't fit. Speaking of super cute straight leg pants that don't fit, I also got these chocolate brown leather pants because I love leather. I love chocolate brown. Both are very trendy this season. I was like, sure, let's put them together. And these actually fit me perfectly throughout the thighs and the shins. They have that same little slit along the bottom. As you can tell, they're not flares. They just like have that slit that makes it look like they flare out. But these are really big in my butt. I just have a really flat butt apparently and I can't fill out any pair of pants from them but you know that's what you get it's the price you pay but these actually do zip up along the side these had so many good reviews like people were raving over these pants and honestly if they fit me 
properly, I would have nothing but good things to say about them. They don't make that awful squeaking noise when you move in them. And the quality is really good for a pair of $15 leather pants. So I will admit, if these fit right, I definitely would be wearing them quite often. But the chocolate brown is amazing, guys. More brown. I had to grab this dress. I don't know where I'm going to wear it, but it just looked so good on the model. It was so flattering. And I was like, all right, I'm grabbing that. It's got these huge bishop sleeves, which I really love. You guys know me and my love for statement sleeves. And then they've got those ruched cups that are so popular right now. I mean, they look amazing on literally everyone and they give your chest just enough lift. This dress did run a little bit longer than your average dress, but I am on the petite side, only 5'2", five, 5'3", five, so that didn't really surprise me. Gonna be a good length if you are like average height. But again, just a really flattering color, perfect for a winter wedding or anything of that sort. I have one last lounge set to share with you guys and this one comes together. I got it in a size extra small. I have this in a brown and it's one of my favorite sets from Shein hands down. So soft, so comfortable and I believe it's it's actually 93% rayon, 7% spandex, but it fits incredible, and the pants hit you at the most slimming spot ever. They're very high-waisted, so they really do slim down your waist and make you look like a toothpick, but love them. This is what the pants look like. They're straight leg of the same width all throughout, but they're so comfortable. I usually just wear something like this on a day of online classes with a pair of slippers, like, you know, so I look put together even though I'm really in something super comfy. I've been on such a blazer kick recently, and I I am working on putting together a business casual lookbook for you guys. So I picked up this white blazer dress and I'm obsessed. It fits me so perfectly. And I think with a pair of tights and sock booties, it's going to look incredible. Again, I'm in like online school, so I don't really have a purpose for something like this right now. But for styling reasons, I had to have it. It does have very small shoulder pads in it, but they are just the right amount to kind of give it that structured feel. Because if blazers don't have shoulder pads honestly they usually look pretty frumpy they look like they're swallowing you so this was a necessity this also comes in light purple I actually wore the light purple one to New York Fashion Week last February got tons of compliments on it and wore it belted with like a little silver belt and it was such a look one of my favorite outfits ever so I knew that I would love this and yeah. Last but not least, I picked up a Shein activewear set, and I love their activewear typically. It's kind of hit or miss, so you have to really pay attention to the materials, but the tops and bottoms are sold separately, so if you're a different size in top and bottom, you are in luck. I grabbed an extra small, no, I grabbed a small in both, and these are 92% nylon, 8% spandex, very comparable to Gymshark, super thick, and this is what the leggings look like. They are that 7 8 length on me, just because I am on the petite side like I said I would imagine that these would be more of a true crop if you were a little bit taller they come up just enough and then this is what the waistband looks like very flattering and it just sucks you in in all the right places and then this is the top that I got they actually sell like sports bras and stuff that also pair with it but I really like this like t-shirt style I do not wear anything underneath of these just because they are that like same spandexy material but if you are a little bit bustier I would probably recommend wearing something underneath just so you have a little more support when you're doing a high intensity workout but this color was so flattering on like I said I'm not usually a purple girl but I really really liked this I have worked out in this set before and it's one of my favorites and then last up for the clothing I picked up this jacket you guys know I live in a colder climate so jackets are a must and I'm constantly grabbing new ones I wanted something that was like a true jacket not necessarily a puffer this one's a little bit longer covers your tush which is going to keep you so much warmer don't get me wrong this is definitely not a like Eddie Bauer North Face Parka, but it's a really good in between of a jacket that size and weight and like your like brown leather puffer coat. This is that great in between that I usually reach for if I'm just gonna be outside, but like not for a super long period of time. Love this color, it pairs with just about everything. This one has super, super deep pockets and then it also has that fur hood. That's my absolute favorite. It is faux fur, don't worry, but very cute. And you can actually remove the hood. Um, it zippers off if you want, which again is another feature that I absolutely love. If you guys have been watching my vlogs, you know I am absolutely obsessed with this purse. I have it in white and black already and it is amazing. It fits literally everything. The crossbody is super trendy and then it also comes with this little coin pouch which I think is perfect for your mask. It's just the trendiest bag and 
I saw that they came out with it in like this like light brown and I was like I have to grab it because seriously I use this purse every single day I have gotten so many compliments on it and so many of you guys have purchased it and said you love it So I had to grab it You can actually detach this like second purse if you want and just wear one But I love leaving it on because it gives you a little extra storage I'm usually used to carrying like a bigger tote So I usually keep a ton in my purse, but this fits literally everything very comfortable and for like $16 you seriously can't beat it this is very similar in style to the Prada nylon bag that everyone loves and then last but not least I saw that they had a similar version in a chocolate brown and of course I had to pick it up this one has gold hardware and it actually has like a little gold chain that hangs down super on trend I literally love this this one's a little bit smaller than the like light brown one and there's no like additional piece along the front so it definitely doesn't fit as much more of a keys wallet phone kind of bag but very cute and I figured I would get a lot of use styling this over on the blog all right guys that is going to be all for today's Shein haul I really hope you enjoyed it like I said you can use my code Q4McKenz15 to save 15% off your purchase and I will leave everything linked down below as well as a blog post styling some of these pieces so that you guys can get a little bit of outfit inspo I hope you enjoyed if you want to see more hauls from them be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and I will talk to you in my next video bye guys